program is a blend of dance fitness and instruction. It has two levels, two movement flows, beginner and intermediate, and two tutorial sections, beginner and intermediate. We'll dance and work out to belly dance drum combinations, featuring most popular belly dance rhythms, Chiftitelli, Balladi, Saidi, Maksum and Masmoudi. We are privileged to work with a spectacular percussionist and composer, Rocky of New York City, who designed the soundtrack for our dance workout and practice. And another amazing artist who will play bass dumbek for us, Liron Pellet. A couple words first about the fitness aspect of this program, and then we'll talk about its instructional qualities. The beginner flow will give you a moderate full body workout, while the intermediate one is more intense. Both sets begin and end with slow rhythms, chiftitelli and masmoudi, and easier moves. These are warm up and cool down if you want to stay with 100% belly dance moves throughout your dance exercise session. This workout is not aerobic or cardio. It aims at muscle toning, flexibility, weight loss, and conditioning your body for dance. Moderate exercise can be maintained longer and it burns more calories from fat than high-intensity sports activities. That's one of the reasons dance fitness is so compelling. We'll work with a genre of music and dance known in belly dance as the drum solo. So basically we're doing sequences of drum solo drills and then we'll review them in a way that creates an experience very close to actually performing them in a dance show with a drummer. Drum solo is done both improvisationally, the drummer is playing and the dancer is interpreting the rhythms using her body as a musical instrument, or you can work with recorded drum beats and have your drum solo performance beautifully choreographed. Either way, you always need new ideas on which moves to select and how to combine them, and I hope that this program will help you to enrich your dance vocabulary, sharpen your technique, and condition your muscles for dance because the best way to physically condition yourself for any activity is to actually perform that very activity directly or in a modified way. In our intermediate flow, the moves span a range of stylings from the more modern to more traditional. They are clean in terms of transitions and switches between directions and always showy. We'll go after moves and combinations that are visually impactful when performed for modern audiences. For beginners, including total beginners, there is a number of reasons belly dance drum solo can be a very effective learning tool. This music is not melodic, and even though many beginners gravitate toward more melodic choices, if you learn to appreciate working with belly dance drum music, your understanding of the dance will grow fast. The drum rhythms underlie most types of belly dance music. Hearing them is one of the keys to your musicality as a dancer. Dance combinations performed to drum music usually string a number of moves together in quick succession. So, from the very beginning, you're learning moves in context, not out of context. You learn how to combine them and how they express the rhythm. Another advantage of belly dance drum solo for beginner learning is that it's mostly performed in place. There are not many travel steps, no complex footwork, and no sophisticated arm patterns. You use your arms just to frame your body. We'll repeat each combination first, slowly, 12 times in the beginner flow and 8 times in the intermediate flow, and then at full speed, 8 times in the beginner flow and 12 times in the intermediate flow. In the beginner flow, we'll build each combination gradually during our slow repetition set. If some of our steps at the very first glance look like a puzzle to you, if you're a total beginner, just follow me in the workout and after all those repetitions, you'll be able to do these combinations in your sleep. And we have two tutorial sections. Beginner tutorial breaks every step used in the program in detail, while the intermediate tutorial section I will go over the structure of each combination and give some tips to choreographing your own drum solo combination. Please join Rocky, Liron and me for this instructional fitness program. 
As we're working out and practicing our moves, you can listen and train your ear to recognize the rhythms and their underlying structure. You can perform all the movements in the workout, whether you're focusing on the rhythm structures or not. But if you take a few moments now and then to focus on the rhythms, you'll extend your understanding of the interplay between our dance moves and accents and the music. Drummers fill and embellish basic rhythms in a million ways. So very often the riffs are more pronounced than the underlying rhythm. We'll go with both. Sometimes we'll follow the dooms and tags of the basic rhythm, and sometimes go with the riffs, ignoring the basic rhythm structure. This allows for a more dynamic relationship between the dance moves and the drum rhythm. We don't want monotony in the way we articulate the drum rhythms. We're lucky to have in this program both the leading drum and the bass drum. As you're practicing from time to time, switch your ear to listen to the bass dumbing, or even look at the drummer's hands, and this will instantly remind you of the structure of the rhythm. In our program, we use 20 different drum variations and 40 dance combinations, two combinations, beginner and intermediate, for each different rhythm variation. 